find five key points of the graph of the function beginning at the phase shift. And what we have here is y equals negative 5 sine of 9x minus 3 pi over 7. So to graph the five, or to find the five key points, we have to remember what they are. The five key points here would be for a, for a sine, the sine starts at its x-intercept. It has an x-intercept. Then because of the fact that this is a uh, negative 5 for the coefficient there, the next uh, point is going to be a minimum, actually. And then we have another x-intercept. Then we have a maximum. And then we have the last x-intercept. All right. Now, if this were a positive coefficient, it would go x-intercept maximum x-intercept minimum x-intercept. So basically, negative makes the minimum and maximum flip-flop. So where these things occur are at uh, the first x-intercept is at 0, then at pi over 2 is the minimum, pi is the next x-intercept, 3 pi over 2 is the maximum, and the last x-intercept is at 2 pi. So all I need to figure out is what makes 9x minus 3 pi over 7 equal to all these sets of, the, to this set of numbers, 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. So I have to just solve these five equations. I'm going to do all five simultaneously. Well, the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add 3 pi over 7 to all, to both sides of all five equations. So 3 pi over 7, 3 pi over 7, 3 pi over 7, 3 pi over 7, 3 pi over 7. Now, in order to do this addition, I need a common denominator. And it turns out that in this case, the common denominator, since the denominators up here are all 2s, and down here they're all 7s, the mm -hmm. common denominator is 14. So let's change them all so they have denominators of 14. For instance, uh, pi over 2 is 7 pi over 14. Um, pi is 14 pi over 14. Uh, tw 3 pi over 2 is 21 pi over 14. 2 pi is 28 pi over 14. And then 3 pi over 7, well, that's 6 pi over 14. So these are all 6 pi over 14. And these are the numbers I'm adding, because now they all have the same common denominator, 6 pi over 14. So now I can go ahead and do the addition, actually. So on the left side, those are going to cancel, leaving me just 9x. On the right side, it's 0 plus 6 pi over 14, which is 6 pi over 14. Then it's four, 7 pi over 14 plus 6 pi over 14, which is 13 pi over 14. Then we have 14 pi over 14 plus 6 pi over 14, 20 pi, 20 pi over 14. Then we have 21 pi over 14 plus 6 pi over 14, which is 27 pi over 14. And then we have 28 pi over 14 plus 6 pi over 14, which is 34 pi over 14. And then the last step here is to divide all these by 9. Dividing by 9. Oops. So when I divide all of them by 9, I get the 5 key point, or the x values. I get all the x values for the five key points. When I do that first division, it's going to give me 6 pi over 126. You flip and multiply. Then the next one is going to be 13 pi over 126. Then 20 pi over 126. Then 27 pi over 126. And then lastly, 34 pi over 126. And then all we have to do is reduce the ones that need to be reduced. So the ones that need to be reduced, let me see. We got uh, 6 pi over 126 is really just pi over 21. 6 goes into both of those. Um, 13 pi over 126 doesn't reduce at all. Um, 20 pi over 126, you can divide both by 2 to get 10 pi over 63. Uh, 27 pi over 126, 6 goes into both, or sorry, not 6, 9 goes into both of those. You get 3 pi 
over um, 14. Then lastly, 2 goes into 34 and 126, so that last one is 17 pi over 63. And those are the x values for the key points. So now we just need to create the key points. Well, it's going to be an x-intercept a minimum, an x-intercept a maximum, and then another x-intercept. And the minimums are going to be negative 5. The maximums are going to be positive 5. So this is going to go first an x-intercept at pi over 21, 0. Then a minimum at 13 pi over 126, negative 5. Then another x-intercept at 10 pi over 63, 0. Then another, then a maximum at 3 pi over 14, 5. And then the last x-intercept at 17 pi over 63, 0. And there, those are the five key points for this sine function.